Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, cooler temperatures will continue at least for a couple of more days before we do start to warm things back up. Unfortunately, we do have more rain that's going to be pushing in as well. We did actually see some partly sunny skies for today. Uh, those clouds will continue to increase as we're heading into the evening and especially into the overnight hours. That's because we do have that rain that's going to be moving in tomorrow. Right now, 72 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are a little brisk out of the northeast at around 10 miles per hour. A town was 72 in cloudy skies, winds are out of the north at around 8 miles per hour. Well, again, we have those rain showers moving in as we're heading back to work tomorrow morning. This is around 8 o'clock, so I'd say at least a good 6.30 to 7 o'clock moving from south to north. So Macon area, Kirksville, Midland, as well as Centerville just getting into as we're heading into the mid-morning hours and then also into the afternoon. Notice the heavier rains are still off to the south. Uh, which not which means we are still going to get some heavier rains at times, but the heaviest is going to stay along the I-70 area around Columbia, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of a break as we're heading into Thursday, but late Thursday night, another round pushes in from the south. Expected precipitation on this round anywhere from a half inch, possibly even up to an inch, especially into Macon County and very southern Adair County. So again, we're going to have to keep an eye out on some flash flooding as well. Because of that, uh, this, we are in a flash flood watch until 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And that is for northeast Missouri. So again, lesser amounts expected right now in southeast Iowa. Temperatures for tonight, a cool 56 degrees with cloudy skies. Wind will remain out of the northeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And if you're looking for something for your kids to, to do tomorrow, we'll head on over to the Missouri Department of Conservation for their creature feature. Tomorrow the kids are going to be learning about plant products. That kicks off from 3.30 to 4.30. Temperature to about 67 degrees. Take your umbrella because we do have a chance for rain showers during that time. Our highs for tomorrow are only going to be in the 60s around 68 degrees. We could hear a few rumbles of thunder, but again, uh, no severe weather is expected. Just some heavier rains associated with the storm system. Winds around the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, 60s in July. How many times have we seen 60s in July? Well, over the last 20 years, in fact, two times. 65 degrees set back in 2014 on July 2nd, and 69 set back in July 24th in 2008. So we're going to be adding to that as we're heading into tomorrow. The good news is we're going to start to warm things back up. Mid 70s on Thursday with partly sunny skies. Here comes those rain showers and thunderstorms moving in late Thursday night out of her very early Friday morning temperatures. 83 degrees on Friday, but we're warming actually back up into the upper 80s for the weekend. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Overnight lows 50s, 60s, and even near 70 degrees for the weekend. Of course, anytime check is out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So who really would have thought 60s in July, mm -hmm. but this will be our third time starting <laughs> tomorrow that we'll be in the 60s it's over the last 20 years, I should say. It's been a strange summer and spring all along. It kind definitely of has been much cooler, mm -hmm. uh, and especially as we're heading into June and now into early July. And the nonstop rain. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Teresa. Next in